Hi everyone! So today, I have a very special class for all of you. Uh, today is going to be Art for Kids, and it's the first class of what's going to be a series. <laughs> so today we're going to have so much fun, and the tools that you're going to need are a piece of paper or canvas or anything that you would like to paint or draw on. And if you're using paint, I recommend having a spray bottle of water so that you can spray the canvas and the paint goes on easier. And you can have your colors. So to make any color of the rainbow, all you need is red, blue, and yellow. So we're going to work with those three colors. And then I also have white as well to make things brighter. So we're going to do that. And today, we're going to be painting our pets, and I'm going to paint my dog, <laughs> and you all can paint any pet that you have. I have paintings behind here of horses, if you have horses, and I also have a painting of birds, if you have birds, but I'm going to be doing a dog. You can do a cat or any kind of animal that you like, even an animal that you see outside. So I'm going to start with this pretty sky blue on the canvas to match my color blue on my shirt. And we're going to get started. So I'm going to put white first. And to make purple, we're going to mix red and blue. And choose your favorite paintbrush or pen that you have. Mix up the red and blue together. And then I'm going to add white into my red and blue to make a light purple. I have a really cool friend who has a dog also. Her name is Lotus and her dog's name is Sophie. And we're going to start here. So we're going to paint the head of the dog. Let's see. So we can start with a circle. And we're going to paint the ears. If your paintbrush gets a little bit dry, you can just spray the canvas and it'll make it a lot easier. So here we have the first part of our dog. Next, we're gonna do the body of the dog. So I'm gonna do my dog sitting down, but feel free to do whatever your dog likes to do. So if your dog is standing, go ahead and paint him standing. So here's the body of the dog, and then we're going to paint the legs. I'm so happy to have everybody here today. Today in Los Angeles, it's really sunny outside. What's your weather like today? Now that I've painted the legs, I'm going to paint his tail. If your dog's tail likes to wag, you can put two lines on either side of it to make it look like it's wagging.
Next, I'm going to paint the dog's face. I'm going to start with the eyes. Next I'm going to move on to the dog's nose. And I'm going to let my dog have a smile, and I'm going to let his tongue stick out a little bit. And now that you have the outline, you can color in the dog if you want. Since I used dark purple for the outline, I'm going to use light purple to fill in. I'm also going to use a touch of blue too.
So now that I've colored in my dog, I'm going to put some nature around the dog. So I'm going to paint a dragonfly and some flowers. You can think of what nature is at your house. Here I'm painting a leaf. Nature is so inspiring and so much fun. So what do you all do for getting out in nature during the day? Do you take walks or do you play outside on a swing set? Or maybe you like to read a book under a tree. How is your dog turning out so far? Or any animal that you painted. In art class, the color purple has a best friend and the best friend is the color yellow. And blue has a best friend, who's orange. And then um, green has a best friend, which is red. So those colors go very well together. So because my painting is mostly purple, I'm gonna paint a yellow sun. It's also summertime. So a really cool time to get in tune with the energy of summer. Maybe you like to go to the beach or play in a river or a field of flowers. When we're done with our painting, what we can do is we can write our name in the corner of the painting, or we can just write the first letter of our name and the first letter of our last name. So I'm going to write RC and then you can write your initials or the first letter of your name or write your full name in the corner. Then you can give the painting as a gift or you can hang it in your room. All right, well that looks good. I'm sure all of your paintings are really beautiful. Feel free to send me a picture when you're done. 
and I hope you and all your pets have a great day. Thank you for joining me.